there, I am doing a Naked Basics um, tutorial video today and you can kind of see how I have done um, kind of this side of my face versus this side. Um, so I'm just going to show you how to do that so if you want to see then continue watching. Um, this is a really really simple look and I'm going to show you how to do like a daytime and a nighttime on top of each other so you could have the option of doing both and whatnot. Um, I already have my foundation, obviously, all of that done. Um, blush, lipstick, lip gloss, which I'll show everything in this video. But um, I love this palette. I love anything by Urban Decay. I own Naked 1 and 2 um, and this one. I really do like it. Um, it's just a really natural palette. It's perfect. It's got this dark color. It's got this. Um, it's just an everyday palette that I think is really versatile, even though a lot of people say it's not. So I'm going to get started. Um... First of all, I'm going to use my medium angled shading brush, if you can see this, and I'm going to dip it in Venus, which is, this is the only shade that has like a bit of shimmer in it. Um, I'm just going to dip it in there and I'm going to put underneath my brow bone. I always do this first and then kind of just bring it down in your inner corner. It just kind of lays something there so nothing else can really get there, I feel like. Um, so next I'm going to use, this is a blending E25 brush from Sigma. I'm going to use Naked 2, which is um, a really, really pale, pale brown, um, light brown, I guess not pale. I'm just going to dab that in there and then I'm just going to swirl this in my crease right here and then over can pick up a little bit more just back and forth and it just it's just creates some definition it's actually a really light color but you wouldn't think that it would show up like that like I can swatch it for you um but it really does after you lay it on each other it just kind of it really creates like nice uh, definition and then what I'm going to do is take you can take any brush for this. Um, this is just an e.l.f. brush. And I'm going to take W.O.S., which is a matte color right here. And I'm going to put it in there. And I'm just going to dab this across my lid. You can see that. You can get a little bit more and bring it up right here. And I just kind of hold and then pull down. So I just want this color to be kind of not just on my lid, but to be a little bit further up. Like right in here. Almost up to that crease. And then you could add a little bit, um, you could add a little bit more of this Naked 2 palette if you, or color if you wanted to, to make it a little bit. But you can see there's just some nice definition so far. And then I'm going to get this faint color, which is a deeper, deeper brown nice warm tone brown here. I'm going to use that same brush. I'm going to dab it in there. You can see that's considerably darker. I'm just going to stick in my crease right here. And I just kind of swirl the brush. You can bring it over a little bit. You can bring it over as far as you want. And just go back and forth. Just work it in there. And you can see that's already created some really nice um, definition and stuff like that. You can take a little bit more and just go right here and just dab it. And then you can go back in with um, that WOS color, that light color, and just dab right here just to create a little bit more definition. And you can see, there you go. Um, that's a really nice daytime look for me. I like it. Um, I would add some eyeliner down here and of course mascara and I think that you would be really good to go you could pump it up a little bit more by taking the same brush or anything um, small angled this is a Mac brush that's angled like this it's just blunt tipped um you could take a lot of different brushes but I'm going to put it in that faint color again I'm just gonna dip it in just like this just stamp it just get a little bit on the brush and then you can hold a Put a little bit underneath your lower lash line by just getting underneath your lash line and just kind of stamping it. And 
that just smokes out the look a little bit. It brings this outer corner that's darker kind of in. And I think if you added mascara, you would be good to go and it would be great. Um, a way to kind of amp that up a little bit to take it from day to night is to take this Crave color. And this is my pencil brush from Sigma, which I love, love, love this brush. And I'm just going to dip it in the black just a little bit because you can see this stuff goes a really long way. And then I'm just going to start right here in the outer V. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to make a V. I'm going to go in and up. You can see this V shape. You can take it. I take mine about halfway. You can get a little bit more. You can blow it off a little bit. So you don't have too much product. And then you're just going to create that nice darker color. You can keep adding more depending, like see you can really make it dark there depending on what you're going for. And My thing is I love this palette for blending. It can create like a really really nice look. You can take it further over um, like this. It just creates like a really nice really really nice blended dimensional look. And there you go. You can take some more of this dark, this warm brown, this faint color again and just go over it if you want to kind of lighten it up a bit. Um, you can take this is my medium angled shading brush again. And I'm going to take this color, the very first one that we applied Venus, and I'm going to put some underneath my brow bone again just to kind of blend and make sure there's no harsh lines. Put a little bit in my inner corner. And I just like blending it like this because it helps just create a nice um, transition, I guess you would say. And then I, you can take the same brush again and take that color. Just put a little bit more here if you want it to be a little bit more defined. And then that is it. Um, what I do is I'm going to add a little bit of this liner, this is this uh, Sephora double-ended pencil I got for $3. Um, and you can put just a little bit on your outer edges. You could do like a winged eyeliner look with gel or with liquid if you want. I would really, really amp this up. But I'm just going to put some on my outer edge. Right by my lash line. And it just creates just to make your eyes look more awake and more full and all of that. Um, and like I said, I really like this color faint for underneath just to add a little bit of smokiness. And I usually put um, an eye primer and I did do that before this video. This is a little state on stray. And I just dab it underneath there. I guess I could show you. I can do a little bit more. I literally just get the tiniest amount on my finger and then I just rub it right underneath there. And like I said, this color is on here, so you can just rub back and forth, and it just creates like a nice little smoky look combined with that liner that you're going to put on your waterline. And there you go. Um, I would now curl my eyelashes. A few times. Um, this is Sephora Lash Plumper Mascara, which I really like. Apply a few coats of this, however you would like. Whatever mascara you like. I know everybody has their favorites. Um, one of my favorite tricks is to use these disposables and just kind of go in. They're just nice because they don't have any product on them. And it just defines and separates a little bit better. Then I would go in and add another coat. And for nighttime, you could also put this on your bottom lashes if you wanted to make it a bit, even a bit more dark. I don't currently have any, but I guess I could put a little bit.
and there you have it. I think that's a really good day to night um, kind of showing of how to use this Naked Basics palette. And then for my cheeks, I have, this is my Sigma Large Angled Contour Brush F40, and this is this Wet n Wild Blush in Heather Silk, which I absolutely love. I've talked about this on my Facebook page. It's great. It's really, really pigmented, so you have to like be really careful. And I already put some blush, but I'll just show you. I just take it kind of right up here to my hairline. And I try not to go past here. This blush brush is fluffy. And then I'm going to take... This is an e.l.f. brush, which I love. It's the blush brush. And this is my Bahama Mama bronzer from The Balm. I like that it's domed, but it's still pointed. So I just get a little bit on there. And I'm going to do my fish face. You just put it right underneath that blush, and you take it up to your hairline, and there you go. Um, really cute pink pink blush. I think goes good with this look because it's kind of like a brown look, and I love like browns and grays and smoky colors with really pink cheeks. And for lips, I used my N Y X pencil in. Rose, which is this nice pink color. I just line my lips. You can do it however you'd like. And then I used Cream Cup by MAC, which I absolutely love. It's just pink color. And there you go. I think that is a really, really simple, hopefully um, easy to do with this palette look. Like I said, you basically just start using, you know, this color. This kind of creates the definition, and then this takes it to nighttime. And you can make this as smoky as you want. You could take this pencil brush and angle it out a little bit more and make it even kind of deeper or more winged. And like I said, you could add... Um, wing liner to do whatever it whatever you like um and this I always go back to this naked two color as my blending color if you get anything too dark or too stark of a line just go back and use this color and it really 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 helps to blend things out so I hope that you guys enjoyed this please follow my Facebook page or my Instagram I will link the info below um and I hope that everyone has a great day thanks